friends, today I want to introduce you to Kenzie by Inner Belisa. This is in a bob cut. She actually comes in this really beautiful blonde color. Um, I do like the blonde. It is a warmer blonde than I typically go to, kind of a sandy blonde, um, but it is a very pretty color. However, I do have some thoughts on the cap construction and the lace part. Before I put her on, let's talk about the cap construction. It's a fairly basic cap. However, she does have a lace part. Comes only on one side, so you're limited to where you can part her, but it is nice that it comes with that lace part area. However, I will have you note that it is not an extended lace. So it's a closed lace front, which means this is what it's gonna look like. And I'll show you what it looks like on, but you're a little bit limited with what you can do with the front when it's uh, closed lace like that. We have open wefting, stretchy, and then Velcro nape. And she comes with three combs. So you have two on either side of the part and then one in the back nape area. And we'll go ahead and put her on so you can look like what, or see what she looks like on. Okay, this is her on. Um, so I do have some thoughts right away. The lace part is not bad. Um, I think with a little bit of plucking and some makeup, that lace part would look significantly better, a lot more realistic. The problem I have is that it is a closed front, so you're not gonna be able to pull it back in any capacity because it's just going to be obviously a wig. However, as I'm playing with it, I do think that if you wanted, you could throw some bangs into this if you're willing to uh, get rid of some of this hair in the front and actually even up those sides. You could throw some bangs into this and it would actually be a very cute bob wig. I just don't love that it doesn't have that extended lace. If it had the extended lace and you can blend it and you can pull it back, you, it would be a lot more versatile. You could do a lot more with it as it is right now. I would consider this a budget friendly wig that needs some work. Um, as you can see, the sides are not even, that's intentional, asymmetrical is okay, but I prefer mine to kind of be the same on both sides. It's just a personal preference. It has a cute length to it though. Definitely something you can work with if you are looking for a budget-friendly wig that needs a little bit of love. The color, like I said, is still really pretty. The texture is a little on the rough side, but for how it looks, it's not bad. And once again, it's a budget-friendly wig. So I would say this would be a really good option if you're willing to throw in some bangs or you just don't mind that closed front. Let me know if you have any questions on this piece. I'm always happy to answer them for you. You can ask in the comments below and subscribe for more wig and topper tips and content.